I love the season finale. I love the last image of you guys walking in slow motion to the Welcome to the Machine song playing in the background. Um, what's what's um, Reese's mindset now going into the fifth season? He, he looked so dedicated to saving the machine. What's, what's going to happen now? Well, the, the machine is the, the lifeline to our team. He's the brain uh, and uh, soul of the team. Um, and his job as an operator is to do very little and complete the operation um, to get Finch to believe in the cause again. Um, that, that I have done, um, you know, much more with much less. And um, assembling the team and trying to reach out and, and find a way to get uh, uh, shot back in the group. However, caution because what has Samaritan done? Um, and uh, you know, the, the tower of Samaritan is not just a little 20% more, it's exponential. Uh, it, it's going into everything. Um, but, which is okay because it leaves us no choice but to attack it, to find a way to end it. And how are you going to top that? That was such a <laughs> such a great scene. It, it, I really, we've been waiting to use that song for a long time. It really worked out great. Um, you know, Chris Fisher did the, the finale and he's been floating around the room somewhere. Uh, and he's doing the premiere as well. And, and, and we pick up in real time, right? Out, and, and we just shoot you out of a cannon. Um, and each one of our guys has been hunted down. It's, it's a disparate team. And what's, what's going to happen is... Um, the premiere involves some self-examination and understanding the state of his machine now, where it is, and the mistakes that he's made that's led, led up to this point. Um, we're going to see some flashbacks when Harold made some of these decisions. And, and, and I think it's up to Reese's character to, you know, when Harold is losing faith, when he's losing his, his ability to see any light at the end of the tunnel, it's his friend who picks him up and he says, we can do this and, and find a way to reconstitute this thing. And he, you know, Finch thinks even if we get a heartbeat, we don't know what happened to the brain. And so what good will it do? And, and we're so far behind. I think it's in those moments when when a friend can pick up another friend and say, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And, it, and I think there's a really cool scene uh, when, when the two characters uh, meet up again in the premiere that I love. And I, I won't ruin it. Totally <laughs> sure. It's, it's, it's reminiscent uh, of um, the last time Harold saw Ingram. Mm -hmm. so Ethan Ingram. Sort of bittersweet? Yeah, it's very bittersweet. And, but I think there's a lot of fun in the episode, too. It's, it's really just almost straight action. <laughs> or at least a teaser, I know. It's, and, and I think, uh, you know, the challenge for all our guys this season is, like Jim said, how do you go up against something that's got its tentacles and everything? We've seen that Samaritan is uh, it's messed around with the general election. It's, it's Wall Street. It's all around with the food, the food supply. It's got it's, it's almost insidious in how it's operating. Uh, and I think everything we do on the show, believe it or not, we try to ground it some reality and how that would actually happen when that happens. And I think that's what makes the show unique, and, and clearly so, because there's at least three shows ripping us off this fall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as for Reese, I think his origin finished when Carter died. That was almost like his moment is where you talk about Reese in the post-Carter world. I have a relationship with her or after her. After. What did that turn Reese into? Did that complete his journey to be a hero? Don't I don't know. I th I think that uh, that lesson learned in that was many times we don't tell the people that we love uh, that, that realize how much we love them until they're gone. And I think that's the hardest parts for him in that. One. Um, 
I think what drives him is to make up for that by some way of uh, um, reparation to save as many lives as he can and, and, and for her for the others to be a better man to you know try to look there's a part of him he's a bully killer and uh, or a revenge guy and, and every time he shoots some guy in the knee it's just that much where he wants to put it right through their head because um, he, he he's capable of not missing most of the time so um, I think the show does a great job of dealing uh, with that. But at this point, how Carter's death inspires him is to invigorate Finch to say, come on, we've done uh, much more with a lot less. And, and uh, you know, uh, it, 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 there's a, so much at stake here. If, if Finch doesn't hold up his end, we're lost. But I'm willing to carry mine at this point. That's how that has inspired uh, and invigorated him. Um, so they can take turns being each other's rock for a while. The team has to, I mean, you look at today with NFL football day, yes. <laughs> the best teams that, uh, that win are the teams that come together. And the closeness of that is more than uh, money or anything that uh, one can come up with. Uh, it, it, the intangible is the, is, is the love that, between each other. That, uh, you talk to the, uh, the uh, Miami Dolphins in 1974, <laughs> Three or whatever when they went undefeated. But the uh, point being is that that uh, togetherness was worth fighting for. I think that that's a good analogy for um, what the team machine needs to be, wants to be. But ultimately, the machine, I think, is going to have to say to those individuals, I can't do everything. You created me, but you have, if you are who you say you are, you have to have that faith in each other to, uh, you know, carry on. Hmm. Interesting. So would you say that sort of one of the um, underlying themes of a show about artificial intelligence is, and, and, and computer human interaction is the importance of family and togetherness? You can't have, a machine can't do everything for you. You can't tell you how to love. And tell you how to, how, to, how, to, how to treat others and whatnot. You programmed me. You did this. You said this. And uh, you know, um, I. It, 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 it will never, ever take the place of, you know, I can get my remote control when it first came in and, and wouldn't it be great if I could just sit there and flip the channels? Somebody thought about it, you know, and eventually that happened, but, you know, still, at the end, at the end of the day, without that, that group coming together, you're empty inside. So, if this is really truly the end, how would you want people to remember the press of interest by? What, what is sort of your most proud, proudest moment, if you will, about the show? And, and what do you hope people carry into In the post On multiple levels, I would say, one, we did things that nobody else did. We, we you know, <laughs> thought about this, being at, I was a, a student at Stanford, and uh, I was uh, forging, it, uh, they taught me forging, uh, I would say, but that's flattery. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think our legacy would be when Samaritan finally makes Donald Trump president. Oh, no. <laughs> People will realize what, what, what has finally what's happened, happened. No. Uh, with artificial intelligence. But uh, no, I think I think what's really cool about the show for me is being able to pull off a serialized larger part of the broadcast television. I, I think that, that a lot of people disregard the broadcast TV because they think it's similar on television. Just when you miss an episode, you'll catch the next one. You really can't do that with our show. Um, and the last guy I remember doing this, doing it really, really well was Anderson. It almost killed him. <laughs> and I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is to, to keep track of that larger story and continuity. Yeah. Trying to top yourself. I never realized. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah.
How do you feel like this uh, condensed season is going to affect the pace and the, and the serialization of the show? The great part of doing 13 is that it suddenly it feels like a cable show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back to normal now. Yeah, I don't know, 2015. You know, you, 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 everyone's dead tired. Music it's very focused. Yeah. This year is very focused. Very focused. Mm -hmm. And it's brutal, but we don't, we don't have to shoot in the winter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, on behalf of a bunch of old fans, don't hurt the dog. Uh, okay, don't hurt the dog. That'll be the last one standing. <laughs> Can we get a picture of you guys?